Hey everyone, it's Michelle. I just wanted to jump in really quick because there was a really exciting update this week coming out of the Department of Education. So on June the 9th, the department announced a series of actions to advance equity in the schools. And we're so excited about this. These actions are directly related to the executive order to advance racial equity from President Biden and to support underserved communities. So I wanna read the quote. For the first time ever, these requirements will ensure that school districts and schools serving a large share of students from low income backgrounds will not experience disproportionate budget cuts. Now that's super important for those of us that have worked in schools and worked with school districts and have dealt with being in a school and having these mandates come down and then not having any type of funding and wondering how in the world are we gonna pay for what they're saying that we have to do. It's not the case with this equitable action, which is really exciting. They're saying the school districts with the highest poverty do not receive any decreases in state per pupil funding below the pre-pandemic level. In addition, high poverty schools will also be protected from disproportionate cuts to staffing. These provisions are critically important as schools and school districts serving the greatest shares of students from low income backgrounds have historically been underfunded and more reliant on state funding than schools and school districts with lower concentrations of underserved students. I just love this. Now, I just want you to know, in addition to this, to handle the tackle or to tackle the issue of funding, it is proposed in the 22 budget a 30 $6.5 billion increase to Title I schools. Again, $36.5 billion is on the docket for an increase to Title I dollars to go to schools. That's $20 billion more than uh, was allocated for 2021. So obviously at Silverback, we are extremely committed to this equity journey. We just partnered with the Elam Leadership Institute. That announcement came out this week. We're really excited about it. If you don't know who they are, look them up. Dr. Donna Elam is a historical figure in our nation and has been working with schools for years on the equity journey. She actually holds and uh, consults with all of the schools that are currently on desegregation orders, federally mandated. And sometimes I feel like I have to say that again, that she currently is working with all of the schools that are federally mandated to come out of desegregation orders. Still today in 2021, we have schools that are federally mandated to work with their equity issues. So we're here, we are on this journey with her now, and we're really excited about that. She has a new equity of effort framework that helps schools and school districts and states work through these issues with ease, bringing in all of her historical guidance that has worked and that has proven itself over the time to uh, include, I mean, improve student achievement as you're improving your eye on equity. And so at Silverback, we are coming alongside her to help her crunch some of that data, help this districts combine that data, disaggregate that data and understand what they're looking at. We're running some pilots right now and we have a few different states that are running pilots. So if you are interested in something like that, give us a call. We have a very, very small amount that we are going to be letting into that pilot. But if you're interested, let us know. And you can reach out to me here at Silverback. You can reach out to anyone here at Silverback or you can reach out to the Elam Leadership Institute as well. Anything else going on? I think that's about it. I hope everyone has a great day and a great weekend and reach out if you have any other funding questions. I've really enjoyed the questions that have come in on the ESER funds and the EAN funds that I've done videos on so far. But if you have any questions on the equity funds or moving forward or how you tackle equity now that we're gonna have all of these actions, we're here to help. All right, take care, bye.